but get rid of this guy. Get him out of there because one day he's delivering your baby, the next day he's cutting up a baby. And that is evil. And you're inviting evil into the hospital. Evil offends us. Why doesn't it offend them? Have they lost something? I think they have. I think they need prayer. But today, they need a protest. Now the hospital's scared. The bishop's scared. You know they're scared of? Legal action. If people know this man performs abortions, and he's given a privilege, he's got privileges at the hospital, in an office in the hospital, what does that say to some woman who's in distress? Well, this can't be that bad. I mean, the Catholic hospital has abortions there. And perhaps that's the one thing she needs to tip her to the, the balance so she goes and has an abortion. So this leads people to sin. And therefore, it's got to be stopped. But you have a right as Catholics and as Christians to proclaim your faith as Christians. And they're to protest an institution that calls itself Christian, Catholic, on its side. Having someone there who totally disagrees with, and not only disagrees with them, but carries into practice the most heinous things the Catholic Church can prohibit, namely taking of his life. This is an embarrassment as Catholics. It also causes the sin of scandal. As a Catholic woman who has lived in Durango for many years, I am very disappointed that Mercy Regional Medical Center, I am disappointed for our women and our babies, they deserve better, our community deserves better, and as a Catholic woman, I do not want an abortionist on staff at a Catholic hospital. As a mother, it was extremely upsetting to find out that Dr. Grossman was a member of a team that was delivering my son here at the at Mercy Regional Medical Center. I would have never allowed a team of doctors that included Dr. Grossman to deliver my baby had I known that Dr. Grossman was an abortionist at Planned Parenthood. No mother would choose to have a man that kills children to put his hands on their babies. The birth of a child is a miracle. The death of a child is a tragedy. Dr. Grossman should not have the privilege of partaking in this miracle when he deliberately causes the tragic deaths of thousands of children at Planned Parenthood. The great gift of life is being torn asunder and shredded asunder by Dr. Grossman, who has privileges at a Catholic hospital, which is shocking and saddening to me. But this is a truth that our people need to know. It's a truth that we priests and pastors need to witness to and to be here each Wednesday. So I ask you to pray for the end of this abortionist privileges here at a Catholic hospital and to be here and to carry the message of life and hope to your, to your people. God bless you and thank you all for coming today.